What is up guys, it's Tyring here, and today I am back. I apologize it's been a while. I have just been very burnt out when it comes to grinding great ones. But during the time I was taking a break from grinding great ones, I have been focusing on other species, going for diamonds and rares of them on both PC and Xbox. And I decided I was going to make a video showing you some of the trophies I've gotten in the meantime. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So to start things off, we're here on Quadra Cleanness, and this is me finding not one, but two five medium Mouflon in the same herd. And it's been a while since I've seen a five medium Mouflon. I actually killed one before these two, but it ended up trolling. But if you thought that two five medium Mouflon in the same herd was cool, there was actually a small gray Mouflon in that same group. And this was a pretty cool sighting because you don't really get to see Diamond Mouflon anymore, especially since they've changed the zone times where they drink at night. So now we go on to the clip of me taking them out, and I decided to take the bigger five out first because I had a feeling that that guy was probably going to make diamond. So after dropping him with the 308 AR, I went over and picked him up, and he scored diamond at 183, right on the dot. And this is my first diamond Mouflon in the wild, so it was pretty cool. So after getting the diamond, I decided to go back to the lake and take out the other 5 medium and that level 2 gray Mouflon. So unfortunately, I didn't land a good shot on the gray Mouflon, but it is what it is. Anyways, I picked up the other 5 medium, and he ended up scoring gold, which it is what it is. I ended up getting a diamond, so it doesn't bother me too much. So I did butcher the gray, and he turned into a nun instead of a bronze, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a tiny gray mouflon. I still taxed it because you don't really see these guys often anymore. We now travel over to Varhonga Savannah, and as you guys can see, we have another rare that you don't really see often. And that is a Melanistic Lesser Kudu. Now a Diamond Lesser Kudu is something I would like to get on Xbox at some point. I will continue to shoot some male Kudu on Verhanga to try to get a Diamond on Xbox as well as PC. Now picking this guy up, he was a small goal, but it's still a really nice Melanistic Kudu. I have not gotten one of these in a long time. I actually, this is the first True Horns Melanistic Kudu I've gotten. Hopefully I can get a diamond at some point. Now sticking to Verhonga Savannah, this is another trophy that I've been trying to get on Xbox, and that is a Diamond Lion. We have a 9 Legendary right here. I didn't take him right away, but when I was back at the Lion drink time, I decided to go directly for him. Honestly, the fact that that line did not kill me is a miracle. I mean, there's no real penalty for dying in this game, but... Anyways, going up to pick him up, he was a diamond. At 49.4, and that's a pretty good-sized lion right there. And I'm happy to finally have a diamond lion on Xbox. Now heading back over to Quattro Cleanness, but instead we are on PC this time, and I apologize if the PC clips are kind of laggy. My PC specs are out of date and I gotta upgrade them, but as you can see, we have a level 3 Roe Deer. I ended up spotting this guy as I was trying to open up my Quattro Cleanness. Now I decided I was going to open up my map first and to track him down later. I ended up waiting for the drink zone to look across the river because I had a feeling that's where he was going to be drinking. I ended up finding him on a drink zone with two females and another male. Now there is a bug where it seems like the Roe Deer don't do anything after you shoot them or spook them. Because as you'll see, after I shot this level 3, the others just stood there and did nothing. Now, I got a little worried because I thought I would have hit this guy in the spine, but I actually ended up double lunging him. And I just realized there were actually more males with him, but... Anyways, he did score a diamond at 86.4, and that is pretty big for a roe deer. These guys are pretty hard diamonds to get, so it was really nice to see that I had a level 3 on the map. So now we head on over to Emerald Coast, and we have a 9 legendary Red Fox. 
I was trying to take my time with him and take him with a 243 pistol. Now, after taking that shot, I was happy to get him down. I was relieved. Unfortunately, though, I realized that I got a non-vital organ hit. And I accidentally screwed up this guy. He would have been a diamond at 15.20, unfortunately. As you can see, I hit the spine. While I am disappointed I screwed up a hard diamond to get, it wasn't really a big deal because I told myself that I was going to find another diamond red fox at some point. But now guys, it's time I show you the main focus of the video that I've really been wanting to show you. This is a trophy that I've hinted at on my community post. As I was looking for Red Fox to get respawns for a diamond, I spotted a fox that was a lot darker than the other ones. Now, it did take me time to try to track this guy down, but as you can see, that is in fact a male melanistic Red Fox. And holy crap, did I not expect to run into this. This is practically one of the rarest trophies I have ever gotten playing this game. And for it to be shot on PC is even cooler. Like I said, it took me some time and I decided to shoot him with a 243 rifle. And I decided to get a little closer just to not mess him up. And going up, he was stunning. He was absolutely beautiful. Now, he is only a silver, but I don't really care. This is one of the coolest trophies I've ever gotten playing Call of the Wild. This is such a really nice trophy because, like, you don't really see many of these. These are hard to get, and not many people hunt Red Fox. They would rather go for stuff like Whitetail or Moose. Anyways, pretty happy with this guy. He's definitely going in the lodge. And hopefully I can get a diamond red fox to avenge the one I screwed up. Now for the last clip that I'm going to commentate on, we head back to Verhanga Savannah. And as you can see, we have an albino cape buffalo. He is just a level 7, but I decided to 22 strat him to get a good shot on him. So now picking him up, he has a gold albino cape buffalo, which is pretty cool. I am trying to go for a big horns diamond cape buffalo, just in case this is the year they decide to add true racks. So as of right now on PC, my top priorities are big rack diamond cape buffalo and diamond red box. So the rest of the video, I'm just going to show off trophies that I've gotten without me commentating over them. So before I head out, I just want to say thank you guys for tuning into the video. If you enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want. Check the Discord server out, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.